Good evening, folks. Uh, welcome to another episode of Skull Session at Sate. Today, we have Mr. Sunil Kumar, President of UFTA and former President of Thai. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. So, how is how's Sate so far? Sate has grown to a very big size and we are very excited. UFTA is here with uh, 26 delegates from 17 countries. And I see all of them very excited. For the last two days, I've been spending so much of time with them and Many of them who've come for the first time never realized this is what Sati is all about. I think it's very, very big. And appreciations to everybody in Sati for bringing it up so well. It's a great model for every Indian entrepreneur to think of how a vision can be perceived and executed. And Sati is a great model uh, from a small entity to what it is today and what it will be tomorrow. I'm sure it will grow much bigger. My kudos to Sati for this outstanding performance. So, uh, if you could quickly put some light on UFTA, uh, because not many people know about UFTA, and what is the vision uh, for UFTA for 2020? UFTA is a global federation. It's got about 75 countries uh, associated with UFTA. Thai is a member of UFTA. There are large associations of the world who are members of UFTA. Bigger than Thai is uh, Nigeria, which has over 5,000 member agents. We have uh, Tursab, which is over 12,000 agents. So UFTA has agents, associations as its predominant members and we drive UFTA because we are a part of the IATA Global Joint Council. So our main vertical for a long time has been uh, issues with IATA, member handholding on ticketing matters, on aviation matters, on air matters and but that's been going on for a long period of time. UFTA is 53 years old but off late we've moved UFTA from the air ticketing domain to the tourism domain to a global connect because through UFTA we've realized the world is so dynamic and it's a shame for anyone no matter how big you are if you're not connected with someone not just business wise but a little more than business a little more of social connect a little more of emotional connect I think UFTA is the right answer and it's very satisfying to have been leading UFTA for the last four years and I'm truly excited that we have a great delegation here and uh, UFTA today for 2020 has been working on a model that Thai did work last year, which is UFTA Connect. We've been dreaming about it for one year plus, and that seems to be the buzzword in the world today, that if you want to be visible globally, then you cannot be offline. You cannot be online. So if you, if you are offline, then you're losing the big bite, and you don't want to lose a big bite. So UFTA's Coming into the domain of Connect, we are calling it the UFTA Global Connect. We have bought an office uh, that, that we currently have in Monaco, but that's not enough. We are using an UFTA Global Tourism Office, which is given to us by Tursab in Turkey, which would be the headquarters of the UFTA Tourism Global Connect. And UFTA Connect would be a predominant product, which would be empowering agencies all over the world to go online with a very little cost. That's a big step from an association perspective. I think UFTA would be one of the first association to kind of uh, bring in the digital revolution and handhold the uh, existing travel industry onto the on, on, online side. So, well, uh, 2020 is going to be an important year for India. Uh, UNWTO report says 50 million outbound travelers from India, out of which 40% are millennials, working millennials in India. So. Uh, do you think the travel industry is ready for that, uh, to handle the millennial audience? I'd like to link your question with another prediction. One prediction, of course, is the UNWTO. The other prediction is IATA, uh, which says that in the next 10 years, it's uh, two times, uh, you know, two times growth is unprecedented. Uh, next 10, 12 years, and, and are we ready for it? The answer is no. Uh, I feel... Uh, Excited about India because Indian travel companies, Indian tour operators are on a very large growth pattern. There's a lot of innovation coming in. I would credit innovation to the young ones in the industry. A lot of entrants into uh, the travel industry. If you make a survey of who entered travel industry or tourism industry in India in the last four years, I can bet you two-thirds of them would be people who are less than 30 years of age or even less than 25 years of age and it's a great step forward many of the seniors in the industry their children are not with them so you can understand what the perception was a decade ago and what it is now 
So it's changing. It's a big year. India is not ready. I keep telling my colleagues in Thai, the focus of any association must now be on awareness, education, push learning, because people must know how big the industry is. We're all living in a tunneled vision, uh, very small uh, regions we are satisfied. I don't think contentment has to be so quickly attained. You must see beyond and uh, I am decided that uh, for me leadership and training, particularly in travel and tourism industry will be a focus because India needs it badly. You're very right, 2020, we have to start looking big. But the question is how many of our stakeholders are ready for this uh, vision, uh, you know, to be supporting this thought that I must evolve. So people are not evolving, we must push them to evolve. So UFTA works with IATA and pretty much all the associations across the globe. Uh, is there active government participation and support for UFTA to be able to meet all the milestones set through? We operate through our associations. If our association is strong with the government, UFTA is strong with the government. I'll take the example of Turkey. Turkey is very strong with the government. Why? If you want to open a travel agency or travel-related company in anywhere in Turkey, you can't get the license till you're a member of Tursab. Tursab is an association. It's a member of UFTA. We have one of them on the board of UFTA. So when our association is strong with the government, UFTA better connects with the government. So we as UFTA are connected with the Turkish aviation, the Turkish airlines. We are connected with the Ministry of Tourism. Whenever UFTA goes to Turkey, we are welcome. Our global tourism office in Istanbul was uh, inaugurated by the Minister of Tourism, Turkey. So our connect with the government is directly related with the connect of our association with the government. Thank you very much for coming on the show and uh, best wishes for 2020. And we would love to cover a lot more about UFTA and how UFTA is spreading its wings. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much.